Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Keeping optical pores clean is important for accurate fiber measurements as well as the health of test equipment. This video will demonstrate how to clean the different types of optical ports on OWL fiber optic test equipment. Most optical ports on OWL test equipment can be cleaned with in adapter style cleaning accessories such as cleaning sticks or pens. Uh, these are the same types of cleaning accessories that would be used for cleaning inside of patch panels. Uh, this includes the ports on light sources, OTDRs, VFLs, optical length testers, and talk sets. The universal detector ports on OWL optical power meters are designed differently and thus require a special method for cleaning. The following accessories are required for cleaning OWL power meter detector ports. Isopropyl alcohol of 91% or better or other approved fiber cleaning fluid, a round wooden toothpick with a sharp point, and do not use a metal pin or needle here as this might scratch the, the detector surface. You will also need a cotton swab, uh, a 10x jeweler's loop, and some compressed air. Okay, first remove the universal adapter from the power meter detector port and then use a jeweler's loop to inspect the detector end face. Now, as you can see, there's a little aperture here. That's, that's where the photo detector is. So you'll use the jeweler's loop as such, and you'll kind of position it so that you can see inside the port there. Now, it's helpful to have a bright light behind you so you can see the surface of the photo detector. Uh, the light can shine off of there. You can, you can see if there's any dust or debris on the surface of the detector. Now, if any debris is present, uh, especially near the center of the detector, uh, the photo detector should be clean. Now, in most cases, compressed air alone may be enough to clear out the dust and dirt from the surface of the photo detector. So you simply blow the compressed air into the opening of the detector port at, at a low angle, such as like this. However, if this doesn't help, a more thorough cleaning may be required. Uh, the first thing you need to do at this, at this point is to uh, take a little bit of the cotton from the swab and put it onto the toothpick. Now, as you can see, I have already done that here. You can see. Then you will wet the cotton toothpick with the alcohol or the cleaning fluid. So basically just we're getting this wet here. Now, once we've gotten this wet, we simply um, we use great care. We insert the cotton toothpick into the opening in the detector port, and you apply light pressure onto the photo detector. And then you make some circular motions like this. You can kind of move, move the uh, toothpick around like this, and it kind of uh, gets around in the center and away uh, gets the debris away from the center. And once you're done, Simply take the canned air again and you clean it out and you do this. this. What this does is this uh, not only evaporates the alcohol, but it also um, moves the debris away from the center of the photo detector. Now, when you're done with all this, simply take the jeweler's loop again and, and inspect the end. And if it's clean, you're fine. Then, re then replace the, the, the cap. However, um, if this did not work, you, you, uh, several of these cleaning cycles may be required. Uh, one, again, once you're done, simply put the cap back onto the meter and you should be ready to go. This has been another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more information about additional instructional videos or OWL fiber optic test equipment in general, please visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.